So once the student has been working uh, with Golden Beats doing the static edition um, and has mastery practicing for maybe some weeks and this is probably happening in the primary classroom again this is a material that mostly is introduced there because it's more has a sensorial component but this uh, they can start working with the uh, dynamic uh, golden beads addition so we have our equation here so our first number is going to be 1000 400, first pattern, 5 tenths, and 4 units. Then we have our second addend. The second addend would be 2,800, 60, 6 tenths, 7. So we're gonna do like we did with the static, we're gonna the tiles as an expanded form. And now we're gonna start preparing the number with the golden beads. So we have four units: one, two, three, and four units. Five tenths, one, two, three, four, and five tenths. Four hundreds, one, two, three, and four hundreds, and one thousand. Now we're going to prepare the second atom. That would be one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven tenths. Now we have six, six tenths, sorry, that was here. Six tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six tenths. Eight hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundreds, and finally two thousand. I'm gonna put a string again that represents addition. Red is the color for addition in Montessori, and we're gonna start putting them together. Remember what we said: addition is putting. Uh, things together. In this case, in addition, we have two small things and we get a bigger thing. So, we're going to start putting them together. So, them together. And we're going to count. So, we have one unit, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten units. By this moment, the student realized that ten units actually is the same as one ten. We tell them that because we're working with the decimal system, they cannot put eleven units. So they need to exchange, go to the bank, leave the ten units and get one ten. That they're gonna place right here on top. When we're doing it with the paper, they're going to place one unit here, but also they're going to put here on top the one ten that they just place here. Now they're going to put the tens together, them together, and they pass them to the other side. So once they put them together, they can count. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten.
and we are in the same situation. They know that 10 tens equals 100. So they're going to place the shoe that they have here, which they were 12, and they're going to get 100. They go to the bank, they place the 10 tens, and they put their 100. 100 goes on top. So when they're placing it in the paper, they have two tens and 100 that goes on top. Now they're going to put the hundreds together. And they're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that is 11, 12, 13. But again, we know, and actually they can try that, they can see it, how 10 hundreds is actually 1,000. They can check it. So they can go to the bank and they can change these hundreds for 1,000. They will place here. So they have three hundreds. And 1,000, there was this change. And now they put the thousands together. One. And we can count. One, two, three, and four thousand. We're going to test that with our big tiles. So we have one unit. We have two tens. We have three hundreds and we have four thousands. So, put them now in the standard form, from expanded form to standard form, and we see that the addition of one thousand. 454 plus 2867, the sum is 4,321. So we can see on the paper. They will be practicing this operation maybe for two, three weeks before they go to the next golden beat operation.